All right, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at the Gaz Evans Rotar Shear. Uh, this model comes in two different uh, versions. You can get the boom mount or the stick mount. Uh, as you can see here, I have the stick mount and the quick coupler uh, right here. Um, so to start off, you do have a nice Rotar decal right there. And then you do have, uh, I'm not sure if this is a decal for it painted on. Uh, but there's a nice little uh, green spot right there on both sides of the shear. Uh, you can see you got some nice detailing on the shear. This would be your cutting edge. You got some bolt head detail right there. Uh, some more bolt head detail on the um, the part that cuts the metal itself right there, which is nice. And it is painted silver uh, when you get it. Um, and it does have the, um, it's a quick coupler. Um, you do have to be careful, as you can see on mine. It has some paint chipping uh, due to moving it on and off of the uh, quick coupler itself but this pin is fixed in place uh, and you got some actually you do have some nice bolt detailing uh, i'm not sure how well you can see it but you do have some nice bolt detailing on the coupler itself um, and then you do have some bolt detailing where it spins as you can see right there and yes it does spin a, to a whole 360 degrees which is nice and then the shear does work as well it's powered by a little cylinder uh, and it goes about that far in um, to the uh, mechanism itself uh, and opens right up um, it's a pretty nice attachment um, you can see you got some more detailing right here on your pivot point that uh, functions as the pin for the um, the part that comes down to crush the metal uh, I believe you can mount this to a wide variety of models it comes with a quick coupler uh, as you can see I have mine mounted to a Komatsu right here uh, one thing to note if you are gonna put it on a Komatsu model uh, this is my 450. You do have to build some spacers uh, right here, uh, which I did out of some styrene. Built some spacers, glued them onto the quick coupler so that the uh, coupler doesn't move back and forth. Uh, and then it's pretty easy to install, uh, like all almost all of his attachments that come with quick couplers. So what you do is you just got to get the boom up a little higher. You can zoom out here. Um, but what you do is you literally slide it on and then you get a pin that goes in the back uh, you do get a nice piece of aluminum rod when you get the model so you can cut the pin to length to however short or however long you want it uh, and then it just uh, sits on a coupler like that it spins 360 like i said uh, it's an overall it's a nice attachment i have yet to get the um the stick mounted one or the uh, boom mounted one actually it's the second member shear um, it's pretty cool uh, it's a pretty cool attachment. Uh, looks great on the Komatsu, I think. Uh, it is a little big, uh, but it doesn't really bother me at all. I think it just looks nice overall uh, on the model. It's kind of hard to get it in shot because the shear is so large, uh, and it does tend to move the boom and stick quite up in the air uh, when you're uh, trying to take pictures of it and stuff. So it's kind of hard to get it in the shot, but overall, it's a nice attachment. I'd recommend picking it up. Uh, I know you can get it from his web shop. Uh, is the time of the video. I'll have the link to that in the description. I believe DHS and Buffalo Road may also have some stock of the attachments. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I will put a link to his web shop uh, in the review. So that's just about it for this review. So thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see a review, please let me know. And both my links to my social media will be in the description. And as always, stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.